The square form is an excellent training tool for beginning Taiji student. Unfortunately, this form is seldom practiced now. This form trains the yin and yang principle. That is, when you move one part of the body, keep the other parts of the body perfectly still. Sometimes it is more difficult to train the student not to move than how to move. We will refer to the normal Tai Chi form as the round form in contrast to this square form. Both forms have essentially the same internal discipline for the lower body movements. But the square form avoids many of the internal discipline in the upper body movements, saving that later for the round form. Because this square form has very well defined and clear cut movements, it is easier for student to learn it very precisely. It is like a template for the round form. This is an important point. When a student learns only the round form, it is more likely to have deviations, cutting corners in the movements. When this kind of deviations propagate from one generation of Taiji practitioner to the next, pretty soon the movements will have no resemblance to the original Taiji form. So the learning of square form is especially important for those who intend to teach Taiji. This is the mid-frame round form. The emphasis is on internal discipline, that every move should initiate from the core of the body to cultivate the internal energy and power in the body. External parts of the body, such as arm and shoulder, should follow the core movements, becoming an integral part of the core with minimum motion on its own. The internal energy developed will circulate in the body continuously following the flowing form movements. Any external movement will disrupt the continuity of internal energy circulation. In addition, an external movement of the arm, for example, will prevent the full delivery of the internal power through that arm. That is why Taiji is called an internal martial art. 